In this video, we're going to be talking about the tennis directionals. The directionals is a shot selection strategy that has really been made popular by Paul Wardlaw, who has written books and materials on the directionals. And basically, the directionals are based on two different types of shots that you can hit, an inside shot or an outside shot. And depending on which of those two shots you get, the directionals will dictate where you should probably be aiming your shot. It's not 100% of the time certainty. There's other strategical things and elements that go into deciding exactly where to hit each shot in a singles point. However, the directionals are a really good foundation and a really good starting point to building a good strategical tennis game. Now, in this video, we've got two members of the Essential Tennis Forums. One is John, who is on the top of your screen. He's got the white shorts. And the other one is Charles on the bottom. He's got the blue shorts. Now, just to point out exactly what I'm talking about when I say inside and outside shot, let's say that John hits his serve here. And as he makes contact, his shot from this angle goes into the forehand side of Charles. Now, this would be an inside forehand for Charles because the, the ball is actually physically traveling towards Charles. It's traveling into, into Charles's body from John. Now, that's as opposed to if John were to hit this serve and go out to Charles's backhand, this would be an outside shot, an outside backhand, because the ball, the, the angle that the ball is traveling across is traveling away from Charles towards his backhand. So we've got inside shots and outside shots. And those two different types of shots are going to dictate where you should probably aim your shots when you're playing a singles point. Now we've got a couple instances here of John and Charles following the directionals, and we've got one circumstance where they're not followed. And I'm going to show you guys why it makes such a big difference and why it makes so much sense for your tennis game. So here we've got John hitting the serve and is going out wide towards Charles's backhand. So this is definitely an outside shot. The ball is traveling away from Charles out towards his backhand and he's being led off of the court. Now the best thing for Charles to do here would be to go cross court. The directionals state, the, the strategy of the directional state that every time you get an outside shot, or at least most of the time, you should typically be going cross court and not down the line. And the reason for this is court coverage. If Charles takes this shot and he were to go down the line with his outside shot to, to here, let's say he hits as good a shot as possible, He's got a long ways to go to cover the whole rest of the court if John hits cross court with that next shot, which he certainly should do. Uh, it's a, the highest percentage shot that John would hit up on the top side of the screen, and it would make Charles have to do the most amount of running. So the smartest shot here for Charles to hit would be cross court, which he does. So he takes his backhand, he takes it nice and early, gets it cross court, and that's a good shot. He's put it back towards the center of the court. He gets it cross court back to John's backhand side of the court. And now he's starting to recover. And we see some good strategy by John here running around it and hitting a forehand. Now, this forehand, this shot is going inside to John. And John is getting ready to hit an inside forehand. Now, the directionals state that with an inside shot, you now have the option to safely go down the line if you would like to because you're swinging across your body and it's, it's easier to direct the ball in that direction. John could go either way here, both inside out and hit back across to this side of the court, or he could choose to go inside in and go down the line. And in this particular circumstance, we see that Charles is well off of the court thanks to John's good serve, and so the logical place to go with John's forehand would be to go inside in and to go down the line. And that's exactly what John does. He gets jammed up a little bit by that forehand, but he directs it very well down the line. And now Charles has a, a forehand himself, which is an outside shot. It's not traveling in towards Charles's body. Really, it's kind of neutral. It's not really traveling away from him very much either. However, right here, the smartest shot is definitely going to be to go cross court. If he goes down the line with this shot, it's going to leave open a lot of angle opportunities for John to go back cross court again and continue to run him. 
Now, if Charles was just going to take this and just push it cross court, he'd be giving John an outside ball and be traveling out away from John and going down the line for John would not only be more difficult because it's an outside ball and it's a little bit lower percentage to go down the line, but now he's got a little bit less court to cover because the shot that John is hitting will not be angled anymore. It's going to be traveling straight ahead. So it's going to be less court for Charles to have to cover. So cross court would definitely be the smartest shot here in this circumstance. Let's see what Charles does. Well, Charles goes down the line with this shot. And so now we've got John really in a powerful position on the court because if he takes this shot cross court, he's going to be angling the ball away from Charles and it's going to be leading Charles well off of the court. And this is where really things break down for Charles and he's well behind in the point now if John does take this cross court. So let's see what John ends up doing. He does take a cross court. It's a really nice angle here. It's a great shot by John. And Charles is not able to get there. So during this point, we had several smart shots by both players that went the correct direction. They followed the directionals and they played the high percentage shot and they played the angles well. And we have one poor decision by Charles to hit down the line when he was in a tough defensive position in the first place. Hitting down the line is not the way you guys want to go when you're being defensive. You should be trying to hit the ball cross court as much as possible because it's a higher percentage shot and you're not going to give your opponent the angles to try to hit the ball away from you easily and finish the point.